So let's say you have an established blog and you have hundreds of posts on your website. Now this method that I've just shown you of how to add your form onto your post is not feasible because you have to go in each and every post and add this code. So although this is quite straightforward, this could be quite challenging. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the plugin. Now what this plugin does is when you install it, it will apply this form to every single post on your website. Now this will be the ideal situation if you already have an established blog and you just want to add your opt-in forms onto your posts. Right, so let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is to come back over here to my dashboard and then I'm going to come over here to plugins, click on add new and I'm going to search for ConvertKit just like that. Okay, so this is the plugin that we need. I'm going to click on install now. Great, now it's installed. Next, we need to activate it. So I'm going to click on activate. So now that is activated, we can see here that it's on the list of all my plugins. So before we can continue, we need to make sure that we set it up. So I'm going to come over here to settings. Now this stage is very, very important because this is where you want to add your API key and your API secret. So this allows your blog to communicate with ConvertKit. So let's go ahead and do that. So to get your API keys, you want to come to the top right here and click on account settings. Right. So straight away, you can see the API key. So I'm just going to copy that like that. And then I'm going to come back over here and paste my API key just like that. Next, I want to add my API secret. Okay. So I'm going to come back over here and to get the secret, we can click here where it says show. And then we're going to copy the secret, come back over here and paste it. Okay. So that's all we need to do. Finally, we just need to click on save changes. Let's go back to our posts and I'll show you that this form now is added on all the posts that we add onto our website. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I come up back over here to dashboard, we are going to create a brand new post. So I'm going to click on add new. So for this post, we're going to call this CK2 that, and then we're just going to add some text in here. Uh, we might as well add a featured image. So I'm going to come here to set featured image. And this time I'm going to use an image which is already in my media library. So I'm going to go with this one here, set featured image. And then if we scroll down here, we also see this option here, which has convert kit. Now, if it's right here at the bottom and you want to access it easily, you can always drag this to the top like that. So what you want to do here is to select where you want this to go. So this is CK1. And if you want to add a tag, I can just add this tag like that. And then I'm going to click on publish. Okay, now let's take a look at this post and see if that form is going to be embedded. So I'm going to click here on view post. And now we can see that this is going to be there every time we create a blog. So let's say you don't want to keep coming over here and uh, keep changing which form it is. What you can do is you can set a default form. So to do that, you want to come over here to your plugins, click on installed plugins, come over here to convert kit, click on settings. And then over here, you want to set your default form. So let's say CK1 is our default form. Click on save changes. So that will be the main form for your blog. So every time you set up a new post, this is the form that's shown. So that's where all the people that sign up to that form will be added to. So they'll be added to CK1. So then after this, if you go to any post that you want to change, and let's say it is for this is for a different list, you can always go into that particular page and change it. And let me just show you that one more time. So if I come back over here to my posts and we're going to go to CK2 because that's the one which uses the plugin. I'm going to click on edit. So over here now, let's say you want to specifically change this one because by default, it's going to be CK1. So let's say you want to create a different uh, list. You can always, you know, add your list here. Now, if your list is not here in ConvertKit, it will not show on the drop down. So let's say you want to uh, add information to a specific list, which is not here. That list will not show on this drop down. So just bear that in mind. 